I just watched The Crucible, a 1996 movie starring Winona Ryder and Daniel Day-Lewis. Um, I kind of knew the story, but I hadn't seen it before. And um, I'm not really into all the religion part of of the Puritans and whatnot, but it's a compelling movie. And Winona, I think she's excellent in it. It's the most um, emotion that you see her display in a dramatic sort of way among any of the roles I've seen her in, really. A lot of shouting and eyes flashing. (laughs) She looks good in it. I think she does a good job. Daniel Day-Lewis is good in it. Um, I think he was paired with her before. Was he the one that was in um, The Age of Innocence? Anyway, um, this is obviously a saga about who is and isn't a witch in Massachusetts in probably the 16th or 17th century. And um, the girls are originally originally thought to be witches because they were seen in the woods at night around a cauldron. But apparently they claimed later they were just dancing and making lentils and beans. So, I mean, almost anything could, you know, bring you, bring you to their attention. And Winona is the uh, key that everything revolves around in this movie. She uh, has had a fling of some sort with Daniel Day-Lewis's character, John Proctor. And he's married, so obviously that's a major sin. The commandments are a big part of this movie, the Ten Commandments. And she still wants him, but he's he's ashamed of himself and tells her that was that and that he'll never touch her again. But um, she's, you know, first she doesn't believe him, but then I think she gets a little spiteful. And at some point she reports his wife as being a witch saying that his wife has been sending pain and, you know, things to her via the messenger of the devil. And so uh, they all get hauled into court. It's like a regular kind of crazy trial with a lot of yelling and not not exactly very orderly, but everyone trying to prove they're not witches and others trying to prove they are. And, uh, you know, all these stern white men, you know, telling the telling the women that they're witches and that part's all a little crazy but um you know Winona stands up through it all lets out an occasional shout here and there but she doesn't really want John Proctor to get in trouble he confesses his sin with her but John Proctor's wife stands up and and denies it she says no he's not guilty of adultery But in any case, they both get convicted. He and his wife are sentenced to hang. And Winona never wanted that. She just wanted him. She just wanted him away from his wife. She kind of hoped his wife would die because she was always sickly. So at the end, she goes to him in prison and tries to get him to go away with her on a boat, you know, to another land, but he won't go. He says he'll see her in hell, basically, the next time they meet. So that's not going to happen. At the end, the wife and he, Proctor, you know, kind of reunite, at least um, emotionally. But, um, and Winona's just gone. We assume she made the boat, I guess. And it's a good movie. It's like I say, it's a lot of drama, and it's a lot about everybody's strict religious principles and being so ready to condemn their neighbors. That seems to be the theme of it. But it's a good movie, and she did a good job, and I enjoyed it. Um, I hope you like this, Tom, and I hope you take care, and I hope you're getting some rest. I know you're, I know you're sick, and I'll talk to you soon. So just hang in there and know that everybody's thinking about you. Take care.